celebrated through music, poetry, and for his steadfast belief in God. The Eucharist service has been described as a liturgical selfie with the Arch, who embodied the true African identity, and his lifetime spent in fostering inclusivity, diversity, and peace among the people of the world. The Archbishop kind of uh, was a true north of what is beautiful about us as African people, how we belong to each other, how we belong to the land. And we wanted to celebrate him in a way that it's not a strong focus on him as a person, but what he engendered in us, you know, a love of music. Of, I think he's probably the first Archbishop that danced in the cathedral that laughed at his own jokes in the pulpit and so it is our embrace from memory is sheer humanity you are the lord of my life in you i live amen representatives of the muslim and jewish faiths participated in the service to honor the artist's legacy someone they describe as a peacemaker and unifier of the world's citizens through his obedience to God, humanity and humility. The message the Arch shared with everyone transcends all faiths. I mean, to speak from personal experience, 12 years ago I was driving down the road and I saw the Arch picking up litter on the side of the road and I stopped and t I got out the car to help him and to this day Whenever I see litter, I think about that day and what he stood for was that we all can make a small difference in this world, no matter how old, no matter how busy, we can all do a little part to make the world a better place for everyone. Archbishop Desmond Tutu was the embodiment of interfaith solidarity in Cape Town and the strong interfaith movement that we have in our city, in our country, is largely as a result of the seeds that he planted. Moreover, I mean, his prophetic witness of speaking truth to power is so much, so much needed at this time, as well as a, a symbol of hope. We, our people are really in a difficult situation. The cathedral says the collective memory of the arch must be reflected in the ongoing struggle for freedom and justice. Vanessa Puna, SABC News. Cape Town.